When Darth Plagueis killed his master, Darth Tenebris, Tenebris was initially very happy that Plagueis had done it. He was happy because this is the way of the Sith since Darth Bane set the grand plan to destroy the Jedi in action. Every apprentice had to defeat their master and the Sith eventually become stronger and stronger. While Tenebris was happy about Plagueis' furthering the grand plan, his emotions changed to anger because Plagueis had tried to kill Tenebris without any thought to the grand plan because their ship had crashed and Plagueis' enviro suit which protected him from the harsh weather of the planet was damaged. So Plagueis had taken a huge gamble. However, like Plagueis, Tenebrous believed that Darkseid is a tool unlike ancient Sith Lords who regarded it as something to be worshipped. So both Tenebrous and Plagueis were sort of Darkseid scientists obsessed with achieving power via scientific methods. Tenebrous had already created a way to preserve his consciousness using essence transfer based on a scientific way. Tenebrous modified the midichlorians themselves and called it maxi-chlorians. Once it infects another host, Tenebrous uses them to control his host. The only problem with maxi-chlorians is that it robs the user of his foresight. But Tenebrous did not care about it. He was totally fine without his foresight because he was a bit, his species specializing in mental calculations and he calculated the future very accurately based on past and present events. The ultimate plan of Darth Tenebrous was to jump from one host to another and finally take control of the chosen one himself so that Tenebrous will have complete control of a host filled with abundant midichlorians. While he was dying, Tenebrous infects Plagueis using the Maxichlorians and uses Plagueis' ability of foresight to see far into the future. He was shocked to see a shadow filled with dark side of the Force kill Plagueis. We all know that Palpatine is the shadow who will kill Plagueis in the future. While he saw this, Tenebrous panicked and his cell moved out of Plagueis' body and jumped back into Tenebrous' dying body. After this happened, Plagueis snapped the neck of Tenebrous and thought that he had killed him and left the scene. However, unknown to Plagueis, Tenebrous' consciousness had survived in the Maxichlorians and started to relive the last dying moments of Tenebrous again and again like a time loop of death. In a technical sense, Tenebrous achieved immortality but it was of a dark and twisted nature. And also, Darth Plagueis could not sense his own death because of this particular reason. Hope you had fun with this video and your support means a lot so please like and subscribe and do turn on notifications. May the force be with you guys.